I want to talk about sacrifice you may have to make for marriage and how you you have to decide for yourself can you accept someone's baggage can you accept their struggle can you accept their uh, control being controlling if they are um, which a lot of them that are controlling have been hurt and it's a protection mechanism so that they they think by controlling everything that's going to keep them safe keep them from being hurt again and the question is are you willing to be controlled if you ha for the sake of marriage can you love them with that if they have some kind of struggle uh, can you be will are you willing to accept it deal with it indulge it perhaps if necessary those sorts of things are things that we need to look at there's certain things for me personally that someone who's controlling I wouldn't be able to be married to because I just I can't stand that uh, so that would be too far for me to marry someone like that that's controlling I couldn't do it some people can some people that's part of their sacrifice as part of the marriage covenant you know men are men are told husbands love your wives like Christ loved the church and laid down his life for it can we do that how many how many of us are willing to do that like if it means not going camping or not going to as many sporting things or not going fishing all the time or hunting or whatever the case may be is it worth that to be married that's something you have to decide if uh, someone struggles with anxiety or PTSD those are going to present challenges in and of themselves and are you willing to accept those accept them and deal with those challenges that's something extremely important to ask yourself also are you equally yoked spiritually uh, interest get to know the person real well before you marry him don't just marry him oh we're lovey-dovey and we're gonna just get married no <clears throat> wrong reason to get married or gonna have a kid that may not not be the right reason to get married think about your choices think about the consequences before you make a choice think about the every choice has a consequence either blessing curse reward or suffering from each choice we make that goes for life not just marriage but marriage is one of those big things where we have to understand that what are you willing to tolerate can you deal with someone who's uh, struggles with different things whether it be anxiety or their post it, or any diseases they have you know how many how many times are you gonna have to take off work or uh, make trips to 
take them to go to surgery or these are the kind of things you need to count the cost from a biblical perspective maybe one of the things I would say is count the cost what is this marriage going to cost you what is going to be the benefits and relationships there's a lot of friends that are superficial if you admit certain things to them they'll be gone in a flash and will you be like that to others if they admit something to you are you going to be gone in a flash so food for thought shalom shalom